Ravel. I'm Angela Cumpy. She's excited. So um, I think Jay groomed her yesterday. Who did her color? Mom did her color? Mom did some color on her ears, but I'm gonna show you some really simple, just like little accessories, uh, finishing touches, earrings, uh, feather extension, a little bit of blow pin color. So just some really fast, easy stuff, okay? So we are gonna start. Why? That's so exciting. So we're gonna start with a feather extension. Usually on the poodles, I put it in the ear, but her ears are tasseled. So I'm gonna go right behind the ear. And I'm gonna to attempt to do it from back here so y'all don't have, y'all can look at the better side of me. So we're gonna attempt this. Oh. So there are lots of different feather extensions. I make these myself. Um, there are lots of companies that sell pre-made feather extensions. Um, these are some that I carry that are from Expri. They're not quite as fancy, but they're a lot cheaper. Um, when I make my own, I buy my feathers at a fly fishing store. Um, and that makes the, the dyes more color fast on them and they're way nicer feathers. So when I make a feather extension, I can wash and dry this and leave it in a dog for weeks and it'll still be nice, okay? I'm gonna try to do this where you can see it, but this is tiny part. So these are metal crimp beads. I got one in my hand here, okay? And this is a hair hook. It's like a little tiny crochet hook, okay? You slide the bead on the hook. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the hair through this bead and that's what's gonna hold the feather. I'm gonna attempt to do it from back here, like I said. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go right behind the ear. So it'll hang like right in here, okay? I'm just gonna go right behind the ear and I'm gonna take a tiny section of hair here. Okay, you don't need much. And I'm gonna twist this hair because if you twist it, it makes it a lot easier to grab with this little hook. You grab the hair with the hook, slide the bead up with your finger. Once you get the bead on there, you hang on to the hair because that way even when she moves and wiggles, that bead's not going anywhere as long as you have a hold of that hair, okay? I reach under so you guys can see what I'm doing. They can't see like that. Trying to figure out how to do this with her moving where y'all can see. Okay, I'm gonna hold underneath. Okay, slide the feather into the bead. And then I'm just gonna hold the feather and that strand of hair. You take your pliers. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to do from back here, but I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> Normally you're facing the dog. <laughs> but again, y'all don't want to watch my other half. So, okay. Take the pliers and you're just going to squeeze that bead really firm until it's flat. And that's going to hold it in there. To get it out, the bead's flat. If you squeeze it the other direction, it'll open back up and you can pull the feather out. Um, like I said, normally I go on top of the ear. With these, like I said, you can wash them, you can dry them, they'll stay in there. You can have a dog come back six, eight weeks later, the feather will still be there. Lots of dogs that won't wear bows, that'll pull the bows out, will wear the feather extensions because they're so light. Um, and my clients like them because they last. I mean, it's like they stay really nice looking. They don't ravel and they don't fray. The dog doesn't dig at them. Um, probably should have loosened that a little bit. But anyhow, so that is the feather extensions. And again, you make your own. You can put loose feathers in there. Um, the way I put mine together is I use thread, um, almost like when they're tying flies for, fish, for fly fishing. Um, so I tie mine with thread, just like a fly fishing. And you can find videos online of how to tie flies and learn how to do that. So that was the feather extension. Next, we have lots and lots of bling. So this is all bling that I sell. You can also get it at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, wherever. Uh, the only thing you want to know about your rhinestones is you never put something 
on a dog that is too big for it to pass if it were to ingest it. If she was to scratch one off and eat it, you want to make sure there's no problems. You stay away from anything with a sharp edge, like you can go to Hobby Lobby and find the little stars. I stay away from those. They have really sharp edges. If you were to put them on a dog and they were to chew it, you could have a problem. These are tiny. If she eats the scooping will be much more pleasurable because it'll be really pretty, okay? So we have the ear bling here and we have face bling. Um, on my poodles, I love to go down the face. Um, a lot of my dogs that don't get a clean face, but I clean at the stop of the eyes, I put a couple little stones right at the stop of the eyes. And it's just really subtle, but it's really cute. Um, her mom said we can go crazy, so we're gonna stop it. We'll just forget the subtle thing and we're just gonna go all out. So we're gonna just like bling her all up. So you just peel the rhinestone off. This is Aileen's Tacky Glue. The reason I use this particular glue is it is non-toxic and it is water soluble, okay? So it is gonna wash off. You don't have to shave the hair out. Um, if they do chew at it, it is completely non-toxic. I've used this for years and I love it. Um, another glue you can use is Elmer's glue, but Elmer's glue doesn't tack as fast. So you have to hold the rhinestones longer. Um, so I really like this one because it's really thick. I don't know if y'all can see how thick that is. I can't see. <laughs> okay. You just hold the ear, put the rhinestone on and just hold for about three seconds and it's on there. Um, when I go to put the dog back in a crate, I try to put these on like before I finish something and let them dry for just a second before it goes back to the crate. Yeah, I like it or not, she's getting lots of bling. We're just oh, gonna yeah. keep sticking rhinestones on. Again, I'm gonna count to about three. I'm gonna do some of these tiny ones. We're gonna outline that. I may move that feather, guys. Y'all may have to look at my rope for a second. I don't like it when it sticks out. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> Such a happy dog. <laughs> okay. Then I'm just gonna keep adding to these. Um, normally on my client dogs, I just do like one earring on each ear, but with them tasseled, it could be so much fun. <laughs> just keep going here. Okay, and then I'm also gonna do her face. And the reason I picked the blue and purple is because she had blue and purple and black already on the ears. So um, I try to match like with collars and things. <gasps> ah, right on the nose. Sometimes you gotta put them on the face and they're like, and they get all cross-eyed trying to watch you. <laughs> Hang on, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna attempt to get those face the same here. She loves her mother. <laughs> that look about even. <laughs> Y'all see how fast and easy this is and the dog doesn't have to sit still. You just hang on to the rhinestone or it'll go flying across the room. I do, I do, boot. I do, boot. I do. <gasps> ah, good girl. Good girl. I'm gonna make this other ear match. How long will you stay? Uh, these will stay until they wash out. So I have dogs come back six or eight weeks later and the earrings are like grown out. Um, but my two number one selling add-ons in my shop are feathers and earrings. Um, because they're fast, they're easy, they're affordable. Um, people aren't stuck with it, they can wash it off. <laughs> oh, just said, look y'all, I'm sexy. Look at that tail. So said, why are you sitting where I can't get to you, mother? I really want to get one, right? One. Boop, 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 boop. 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 She's like on my face. Boop. Good. Very good. Very good. Yay! Okay. All right. So y'all see how fast this is here. And normally, normally clients pick like one thing. I am gonna move the feather 
because I want it in a different spot, but then I can show you how to take it out and put it back in. So another purple feather? I don't No, I have to I dropped it. I'll go get another one though when we get done. Now I realize that after I got them on there, but I'll get her one when I get done here. Okay, I'm gonna come around here and try to like face y'all and move this. Hi. Okay, to get this out. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's flattened this way, so I'm gonna squeeze it back the opposite direction. It opens right up and comes out, okay? And the trick to this is I'm gonna put it in the same spot, but I'm gonna leave it hanging a little bit lower so it has room to fall and it doesn't stand out. Very good. Red's moving. <laughs> She's like smacking y'all. There we go. I'm happier with that. I don't like it when they stand straight out. There we go. All right. Let's drop the lashes. Hey, big girl. This one might be challenging. <laughs> if I need to help hold, let me know. Yeah, probably because these you have to hold longer. Okay. So, Judy. Judy. Any scissors? Like paper? Well, it doesn't matter. I just need to cut these. Yes, that's what I need. Those are Jay's scissors. I think he used them to scissor that dog. <laughs> Okay, guys, one of my favorites. Um, I don't sell as many of these because some clients won't do it, but I love these. So these are your feather eyelashes. Um, I sell them, but you can also find them. The best time to buy them is right after Halloween because you can find all kinds of nice ones that way. But even on a standard poodle, I'm not going to use the whole lash, okay? I'm going to cut about a third of this off, which I could save and use later. I'm going to cut them both down the same length before I even start. Okay. Now the bling, you don't have to hold very long. It'll tack. It'll stay pretty good. Because you're going to put this above the eye where it arches. You'll hold it down. You'll go to the other eye. You'll have to come back. The tips are going to try to stick out. You kind of have to go back and keep pushing it a little bit, okay? I'm going to stay about a quarter inch away from the eye. Maybe y'all can see how much glue is on there. There's a little more glue than I normally use for rhinestones. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to get glue on both of them and let it kind of tack a little bit. And she's a little more excited than most, most dogs. I mean, like if mom was grooming her, she wouldn't be this excited. Most of our clients aren't this excited until they see mom. So we're going to see if I can hold her still long enough. Okay. So I'm going to go about a quarter inch above the eye. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to kind of part the hair because these are going to come out of her top knot. Okay. So I'll part the hair and try to get as close down to the skin as I can with the eyelash. And I may have to get mom to help me hold a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do this, okay? She said no. Okay. I'm trying to part the hair.
And I'm gonna try to work this right down into this part. Every time I get it, she moves. Hey, hey. Every time she hears that squeak toy, she's like, there we go, there we go, there we go. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Okay. And the reason, go about a quarter an inch above the eye, because if you go right at the eye, they're gonna dig at them. And also you have that bone, you know, when you're doing a snouser, you feel for that ridge, use that. That's what you can push against to keep the lash on. And then when she moves, when she gives expression, you see it in the eyelashes. So they go more go up like where a brow would be. Now the trick is gonna be getting the other one in the same spot. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Very good, very good. Hey, hey, let me see. I know you saved your straight. <laughs> give me, give me this, give me this, give me this. You're okay, you're okay. Ah, there we go. Good girl, good girl. She's so gonna be like that gaudy elderly person. We're just gonna keep piling stuff on her. <laughs> I love my accessories, y'all. And I love it when people let me get carried away with accessories. Give her some sprinkles. It's so beautiful. And this is just an adjustable neckband. She is so happy. <laughs> she reminds me of my boy. I have a 14 month old standard that can't stand still. He's like, he rides in the van with me every day and he has to be touching me constantly. Okay, so this is all the accessories. Do we have any questions on any of this so far before I start doing the blow pins?